Australian TV host Kerry Ann Kennelly hit out at Meghan for criticising the royal family. Kennelly blasted the couple's tell-all Oprah Winfrey interview, which aired last March, labelling it very sad. Kennelly said, I find it very, very sad that Meghan has to publicly wash dirty linen in public, before adding, I just, I'd never do that to my family. She went on, Meghan seems to think that the world should know all the ins and outs and deeply personal things that are said within family walls. Whether you're a royal or not, they're deeply personal things in a family. The broadcaster claimed Harry and Meghan were doing their interviews as a way to rake in cash, although the couple have insisted they were not paid for their Oprah interview. Kerry continued, You shouldn't go blabbing unless it's your own four walls. I don't care how much money she's making, it would be unfortunate in any family. The Aussie star recognised the royals were brought up differently to normal people, suggesting Meghan should not try to rewrite history. It's very hard to judge until you've been in their shoes for some time, Kerry said. They were brought up differently, and that's just the way it is. You can't rewrite history. I'm very firm on not rewriting history. You can observe and learn, appreciate, and decide that can never happen again, or say, yes, we have to repeat that. She added, why people think it's okay to publicly talk about deeply personal family issues, I don't agree with, but that's just me personally. It's actually really simple. Don't blab and bitch about your family, she added. Meanwhile, Katie Nicholl, Vanity Fair royal correspondent, claimed Meghan Markle wanted to be Queen Bee during her time as a senior royal. She said Meghan expected immediacy from royal aides. Miss Nicholl told Royal Beat, I don't think the fact that Meghan sent early morning emails was actually a huge issue because the King will send late night emails as well. But my understanding from the people that I spoke to, many of whom did work for the Sussexes, was that Meghan in particular would want everything done immediately. She expected an immediacy that went with those dawn emails, so that she'd hatch an idea, want it executed by the next day, and didn't quite get that the palace worked at a different pace. I think there were culture clashes, there were personality clashes, but I think ultimately Meghan did want to be Queen Bee. It's reported that Meghan Markle had a heart set on living at Windsor Castle and feeling like a princess. Royal expert Kinsey Schofield revealed that Prince Harry and the Suits actress initially requested to reside at Windsor, but got stuck living in Frogmore Cottage, which is on the castle grounds. Part of me wonders if Meghan constantly evaluating what Prince William and Catherine had versus what she was offered is what initially instigated the Windsor Castle pursuit, Schofield pointed out. It is clear that Meghan wants to be seen as a princess, and a princess needs a castle. However, Schofield also also noted that station in the newlyweds at Frogmore was not only more room and privacy for the couple, but also for Queen Elizabeth II herself. Windsor Castle had always been a sacred escape for the Queen Elizabeth, added Schofield, and based on the amount of drama that the Sussexes had caused in such a short amount of time, I don't think the Queen wanted them right under her nose. Additionally, Prince Harry and Meghan seemed resentful of royal responsibilities and the attention that comes with it. She continued speculating the duo may not have liked the lack of privacy that came with living at Windsor. Added Schofield, would they have been able to tolerate the amount of tourists that come through the Windsor Castle grounds regularly or would that kind of attention have proven to be a burden?